Hi everybody, I'm Sarah and welcome to the Big Blue House Homestead. We moved here in 2017, early fall. It's five acres in upstate South Carolina and we are trying to turn this into a functioning running homestead. Being more self-sustainable, growing our own food, raising some of our own animals. Currently we're working with chickens, rabbits and ducks and we're getting ready to move into livestock. But I have a huge garden and lots of food growing and that's what's most important to me right now is to have my own garden and produce. As you can see behind me, I have about a 10,000 square foot garden. It's very large, lots of weeds as well, because I garden for real. I don't fake things, I don't pretend. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and the ugly at all times, that's what it is. You have weeds in your garden, I have tons of weeds in my garden, and I'm not ashamed to show those. But one of my favorite ways to actually grow is vertical. I absolutely love this. Not only is it beautiful to the eye, it gives you a lot of space to be able to grow lots of food. And on top of that, it keeps you shade during the sunny weather. And so yeah, I can stand out here after I just pick a giant basket of produce and cool off for a minute before I finish filming. You're gonna find me in my garden a lot on my channel because I like to share a lot of tips and tricks on growing and how it is that I get lots and lots of food. I grow almost a year's supply of food all the time on every produce that I put out here. Whether it's tomatoes, peppers, beans, squash, I get a lot of food and I absolutely love being out here in my garden. Yeah, I grow a lot of food. I should probably pick peppers today too. Peppers and beans and tomatoes and all sorts of stuff. Just tons and tons of produce. I was hoping I could share butterflies with you guys today, but it looks like we'll just look at pretty flowers. I've added my basket to the morning harvest, and so now I have to preserve food. And that's another thing I love to share. I spend a lot of time in my kitchen canning and preserving a lot of my foods. So I have everything from tomatoes to beans to peppers. Do a lot of fermenting, a lot of dehydrating. And I do use tried and true recipe books, but I also do a lot of rebel canning on my own. And that's just things that I like to do for my family. So if I'm not in my garden, I'm always in my kitchen with a canner going or the dehydrator running or a chopping board of something in front of me because I have a lot of produce that I need to put away and save because it's all important. When you harvest, you want to preserve your food. And there is nothing better than your own homemade tomato sauces or jams and jellies or pickled beans. It's just beautiful stuff to have in your own pantry. So thank you guys for stopping by the channel. I hope you enjoy what you see, and I hope you hit subscribe and join me as I try to give you all the tips and tricks that I can for growing a garden and preserving it all and enjoying your harvest year round. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.